starting with the 17th deck, we have the Suite Lounge and the Coastal Kitchen that are exclusively for Suite Cruisers. On this deck, there are a total of 32 level staterooms. On the 16th deck in the aft of the ship, there are two flow riders. On the starboard side, we have the one designated for bodyboarding, and on the port side is the one designated for surfing. In the middle of the two flow riders, we have the wipeout bar that serves specialty drinks, perfect for hot summer days. Towards the mid of the ship on the 16th deck is Windjammer Marketplace. This buffet has a little bit of everything in it. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the Windjammer has many different options, as well as themed dinner foods for certain days. Continuing on the 16th deck and walking towards the front of the ship, there is the mast bar on the starboard side. And making our way across the middle of the ship to the port side, there is a view of Central Park leading to the Sky Bar. These bars are perfect for any cruisers who want a drink after lounging in the sun on the top deck. Continuing on to the front of the ship, we have the reserved deck for suite members. Then we have the entrance to the solarium on the 16th deck. Here is the solarium bar, which is on the 16th deck. We will discuss the solarium later in the tour, but there are plenty of spots to sit and relax while you enjoy your drink. Again, on the aft of Allure, and just on the steps from the pool riders, we have the zip line in the middle, which is very fun to do. And on our left, we have Allure Dunes. Allure Dunes is a mini golf course. This is fun to do with the family in the evening when it isn't as hot outside. Moving on, we have the back deck, a space for teens to hang out and connects to the living room. There are teen clubs for all different ranges, so don't forget to check your cruise compass when they hold events. And then right in front of the flow riders, we have the sports court. Right next to the sports court is the Wipeout Cafe. My family spent many meals here when we would finish swimming and want something easy to eat. Through the sliding glass doors towards the front of the ship, we have a video arcade with all kinds of games including air hockey, ski ball, and prizes that can be won in exchange for tickets. The port side is the entrance to the living room, which is the teen hangout area. Here they play movies as well as games on Xbox and Switch. This is a great hangout place. 
Back to starboard side, we have the H2O zone, a splash area for little kids and toddlers. Don't worry parents, the sandbar is steps away from the pool. And of course, it wouldn't be a cruise without unlimited ice cream cones. The sports pool is on the opposite side of the H2O zone and hosts events like the belly flop contest and pool volleyball. Accessible to both the sports pool and the main pool, we have a pool bar. And here is one of the main pools that has tons of lounging. Moving towards the front of the ship, we have the beach pool, which has lounge chairs even in the water. And then in the front of the ship, we have the solarium. This has the Samba Grill, Solarium Bistro, a main pool in the middle, and then two hot tubs on either side. This area is for cruisers 16 and over and has a very beautiful view of the front of the ship. Just out the solarium doors, we have one of the whirlpools that is on either side of the ship. Starting in the mid of the ship on the 14th deck, we have the card room. And continuing through the staterooms and to the forward of the ship is Adventure Ocean. This is the kids club on board that has a workshop, nursery, imagination studio, areas for toddlers and kids, a science lab, theater, and a kids arcade. not many people may know about is on the front of the ship on deck 14 there is a sun deck through a bunch of staterooms that you have to walk is the access to the front patio on the ship the views out here are absolutely stunning just a disclaimer though if you want to use this area Please be courteous of all of the cruisers that you are passing on the way to the sun deck. So there is no 13th deck on this cruise. There is a 12th deck that is made up of majority staterooms, but we are going to skip straight to deck 11. Deck 11 has a library, which is a nice and quiet place to get away We have Dazzles, the nightclub located on the 8th and 9th decks in the mid of the ship. This is a fun nightclub that has live bands performing every night with fan favorite songs. in the mid of the ship is one of the entrances to Central Park. Filled with many stores, restaurants, living plants, and occasional music, Central Park is the place to be at sea. Starting on our left, we have Chops Grill, a premium dining option. Open for only lunch on sea days, this American steakhouse serves prime meats, appetizers, and desserts. The Rising Tide Bar is located in the center of the park to my right 
This is a moving bar that goes from deck five to eight every half an hour. Moving to the other side of the rising tide bar is 150 Central Park. This is another fine dining restaurant that serves locally fresh food with some dishes that are prepared table side. Continuing on, there's a small bar to my left and photo opportunities to my right. The greenery in Central Park is absolutely gorgeous, especially at nighttime. Up next is Park Cafe. I've eaten here a few times throughout my travels on Allure, and this complimentary cafe is perfect for grabbing a bite to eat. They serve fresh paninis, fruit, veggies, chips, as well as a salad bar and desserts. Here is Giovanni's Table, an Italian restaurant with in and outdoor seating. This is not an included restaurant, so it will be an extra charge to eat here. Then we have Vintages, a bar with a wide range of selections. Opposite to Vintages, there are some shops. Coach is to my right. Then we have one of the three regalia stores. This shop also sells clothes from guests, Swarovski jewelry, and other items. On the seventh deck is mainly staterooms, but in the very after the ship, we have the two rock climbing walls. Is your time and attention? Won't you give some of it to me? These are so much fun to do, and the views that you get are absolutely stunning. I've been feeling neglected. On the sixth deck, we have the boardwalk with a small donut shop for breakfast in the morning. On my left, you have the boardwalk doghouse. In the middle, there is a carousel. Why don't you talk to me? Talk to me. Let's start Cups and Scoops is a wonderful little ice cream shop with an arcade right next to it. Johnny Rockets is one of my favorite little restaurants that is on the ship. Here we have Saber restaurant, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but they also have a bar in the middle of the boardwalk with a kids little play area leading to the aqua theater in the very aft of the ship. In the front of the ship, we have Vitality at Sea, which is the spa and fitness center on board. They have a little juice bar in here, serving plenty of smoothies and energy drinks, a salon that you can get your hair and nails done. And here is the entrance to the gym. The gym has your normal treadmill, elliptical, bikes, anything you can think of. They also host different exercise classes and the stairs are right to my right, leading down to the running track, which goes around the entire perimeter of the ship. Back in the mid of the ship, still on the sixth deck, we have to my right, shore excursions and focus. Photos, amenity that your family can have on the ship. They have photographers going around your entire cruise asking to take photos of you. On the opposite side, we have Schooner Bar, or Schooner Bar, I don't know how it's pronounced. But this little bar has live music often playing and specialty drinks that you can get on the entire cruise. Down the main steps, 
we are right into the Royal Promenade. Here is the Champagne and Martini Bar. Very classy little place. And then here is where you get on, one of the places that you get on for the Rising Tide Bar, which you can see right there. And across from that is Guest Services. To my right, we have the Collection, which sells different purses and wallets. And here are the stairs down to Royal Casino or up to the Focus. And then here is where you can plan your next cruise. Now, my favorite is Sorrento's. This place serves complimentary pizza of pretty much any kind that you can get at almost any time of the day. On the opposite side, we have Kate Spade and the Bowen Stern. This is a pub, bar, eatery, really nice place to sit down and enjoy some live music. Solaria sells different makeup brands and the shop is full of Royal Caribbean merch. Next we have On Air which is the karaoke bar. They have family karaoke night. This is a really fun place to be. In the middle, we have Starbucks Coffee, and then Boleros, which is a Latin nightclub, and here's how it looks at night. Down the steps onto the fourth deck, we have the Amber Theater, which is in the front of the ship. On the Lure of the Seas, they have Mamma Mia, but they also have Frontliners. To my right, we have The Blaze, which is another nightclub. Teen Prom Night, which is on the last night, is hosted here. And then across, we have one of the live music studios. Comedy Live, where they have family and adult comedy shows, and Studio B, which is the ice skating rink. There are ice shows there as well. Here we have the art gallery, which leads into the casino. The art gallery has art auctions throughout the cruise. And it feels like And then here is Casino Royale. To conclude the tour, we have the main dining room that is located on the third, fourth, and fifth decks. All of them have a different name. The third deck is the American Icon Grill. The fourth deck is the Grand. And the fifth deck is the Silk Restaurant. All of these restaurants have different times that you can dine with them. And then to my right on the fourth deck, we have Izumi, which is the hibachi and sushi Japanese restaurant. That is all for my tour of Allure of the Seas. I may have missed a few things, but I hope you enjoyed this video.